I'm Renee Troy, and this evening we're having a Meet the Artist event at the Word is Art Gallery. Um, tonight our featured artist is our very own and talented Lisa Holtzman, who is a founding member of our gallery. Lisa is renowned for her incredible skills as a professional calligrapher. She's also a wonderful watercolor and acrylic painter and jewelry designer. And I'm going to let Lisa tell you about her beginnings as an artist. Okay. What after my questions? Your questions, <laughs> here they are. Well, um, first let me say I'm really excited about tonight, and I think it's going to be great for the gallery, for everybody. So, very happy about that. I'm excited for you. Thank you. All right, so where did you learn such a skilled artist calligraphy, and how long have you been doing it professionally? I've been doing calligraphy professionally for probably close to 30 years. Um, I started when I was two. Um, and I taught myself actually. I was in college and I was studying graphic design and my father gave me a calligraphy pen and I, I had taken a typography class in college and that really helped me to see letter shapes and forms and spacing and that helped me to learn calligraphy. Then I just started looking at books and I was just doing it because it was fun. And next thing I knew people were asking me to do things for them in calligraphy, and then they were asking to pay me to do things in calligraphy, and that's, that's how it happened. And I love it. I still love calligraphy. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> My fellow calligrapher. Yeah. Anyway, um, so um, what drew your interest to calligraphy, and what part of the work do you enjoy the most? Do? Uh, I, let's see, what drew me to Well, I guess getting that pen and the challenge of learning something new, and being inspired by my father who was a graphic designer and interested in art. So when he gave me that pen, it you know, sparked an interest. Uh, as far as what I enjoy the most, I think I enjoy the freedom to create all different kinds of letters for a particular application. So I like to make new styles. I like to make my own. And that's the most creative and the most enjoyable to me. But I, I like most of it. I, I just enjoy the, the pen on the paper and the materials. It's tactile. It's, How it's lucky fun. you are to have a career that you really love and I enjoy. I feel it's extremely fun. fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I know you paint in both watercolor and acrylics. Do you yeah. prefer one over the other and why? I, I actually prefer watercolor. And I remember trying it in college, and I was terrible <laughs> at it. They looked very heavy, they looked muddy, and I don't remember why. I think I picked it up again later to do pet portraits, to, make, to donate, to make money for animal organizations. So that's why I started doing watercolor again, and I don't know why it's different this time, but I, I like watercolor because it dries fast. It, there's a lot of light in a nice watercolor, and I, I like the translucent colors. I, I just I find it really airy and beautiful. I, for one, can't, I don't have the skill like you do, so I envy that. You, you do it so you Oh, thank you. You can do anything, though. Oh. Ah. All right, so when did your interest in jewelry design start? Uh, jewelry design, I've done off and on. It's usually been during the holidays to raise extra money to buy gifts. Um, Good reason. But a lot of times what happens with me is I'll start doing something because I want to, I've seen something and I want to copy it or, you know, or, or do some kind of art like that. And then what I'm doing for myself ends up being things that people ask me to make for them, which is really high compliment. Yes. But it, the only thing is then it leans me toward commercial art. You know, I keep going into commercial art as opposed to just doing art just for myself. Sure. So that's what this adventure is about for me. This yeah. is really, you know, my foray into uh, doing art for myself and finding my voice in what I paint or what I, anything that I make. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. It is. I'm excited for you. Really am. And I want to thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity and for always being my inspiration. I love you, Renee. So, where do you see yourself? Like, 
down the line, maybe in five years? I, I think the thing I hope for the most is to have a freedom in my expression, whatever kind of art I'm going to do. I, I, right now, I'm, I'm sort of, uh, not dormant, but I feel like I'm not fully opened up to my creativity, so don't know that I see uh, physically where, where, where I'll be, where my art will be, but what I'm hoping is that I have that freedom to just express and not be held back at all. That, that would be my, my greatest wish. Well, your goal is wonderful, and I wish you all the happiness. Um, I'm just so proud that you're here at this gallery with us, and, and I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. For Thank you. you. Congratulations, Lisa. Holtzman, we're so happy to have you at the Word is Art. You truly are.